Here we are on day two and it is all go. Four vans, four engineers on site. We're starting work out in the conservatory where the two new upright radiators have been hung. As you can see, they quickly got to work routing the copper pipe work. There you can see it attached at the bottom of one of the radiators. Fairly neat work. Drilled through that little board there to try and get access and we're running some copper pipe up the side and this is all pretty early in the morning so they go upstairs lift the floorboards to try and find the roots of where they're going to get the feeds from and things don't quite go as planned This is day two, and here's a little update of how they're getting on. So, we're below the boiler. This is where the 28 mil primary pipes are coming in. And this is uh, obviously not finished. They're still waiting for the proper insulation kit to arrive. But that's one of the areas that they've been working today. Over here, we've uh, got where the electrician's been working. So the top one is a new consumer unit which is going to have all the heat pump related bits and the lower one is some sort of breaker and surge protector which is the meter cabinet is directly the other side of this and our old consumer unit is just up there. There's been a lot of work up here, not that you'll see much of it now. Carpet was up, chipboard flooring had to be cut up and I did get, I did snap some pictures while they were in there. You can see that this this uh, 15 mil pipework that runs in here, there were some 10 mil micro bore feeds that spurred off down into the kitchen originally, and there uh, fi the 15 mil feed comes from the bedroom next door. They were hoping to tap into this. They were hoping they'd find a 22 mil, which they could then feed the two large radiators in the dining area but no such luck. So they took up the floor in here. They also took up the floor in here, but there was no 22 mil to be found here. And the pipework again was running across the room towards into the next bedroom. So they took up the floor in here and they didn't find the 22 mil at all. And And so what they found after drilling some holes and using a bore scope is that the 28 mil uh, does feed off here and uh, then it quite quickly feeds off into multiple 15 mils that then uh, drop down into 10 mil to the lower radiators. So they're going to have the hallway flooring up and they're going to be running a 22 mil from the airing cupboard and they're going to run it across the landing and they are probably going to be running it into this room to then be able to spur off that 22 mil. I'll show you what they're doing outside. So out here in the meter cupboard you can see where it's just uh, drilled through where they're going to bring a feed um, from here and they're going to bring a feed into the new uh, breaker and the new consumer unit. And there's another hole that comes back out of the consumer unit which is going to feed the heat pump. Out here you can see where the two holes have been cored for the feed and the return, 28mm primary pipe work and they don't have the finished uh, insulation that they'll be using so they've just been mocking this up for now and uh, you can see the type of strapping that they're using to fix it on around the outside of the insulation so it's fully fully uh, thermally broken and decoupled and that's coming all the way along here and then at this point not really sure why they've got a 
downturn on the end. Maybe that's just a temporary holding position. Getting some of the valves and stuff ready here. Okay, in here today, and they've been doing a lot of head scratching. They're bringing down the 15 mil copper feed and return for these big vertical radiators. And as you can see, they've run it up and it's going up to that radiator and feeding into that room that we saw earlier. And because of the different widths and levels, there's been quite some um, head scratching to make it happen. So it runs up there, this one. They've neatly drilled through and this one comes down neatly, hidden behind their tools now. Uh, this one is already nicely piped up there. So as this is all going to going to end up in some nice clean white uh, plastic trunking all the way across here. And so they've got that level so that it would just be one white vertical bar that runs the whole way left to right and they've managed to get the uh, as you can see they've got a pair of holes there and a pair of holes there for the feed and return so that's how we're looking after day number two and uh, maybe I've missed something maybe I haven't but that should give you a quick snapshot of what's happened on day two and as I mentioned earlier we've had four to here today we've had three heating engineers and uh, an electrician. I also learned a little bit today, maybe this is some information to pass on. Uh, these four guys are all, well actually, the electrician seems like he's been with British Gas for a while. Um, the three heating engineers are relatively new to British Gas. They're pretty much a new installation team. They've been taking over a lot of the jobs that British Gas had been outsourcing to companies like Heat Force, which I know hasn't gone necessarily very well for British Gas, judging by some other feedback from other users. But the team seem brilliant. Um, two of the guys are well experienced with heat pumps and they've done um, countless installs with uh, previous firms that they've been with. Uh, one of the other guys seems like he's uh, learning on the job a little bit more, taking up the kind of apprentice role, but he seems uh, to take a lot of pride in his work and is uh, you know very neat and tidy and polite so he's a great uh, tradesman to have in the house and um, he seems to really be enjoying the work environment with British Gas and all the training that has been provided so so far everything is looking okay uh, a few hiccups and a few speed bumps in the road but um, we're day two now of what was projected to be a five day installation and uh, I guess luckily the lead installer yesterday uh, helped me to uh, manage the expectations <laughs> and basically said uh, look I'm not sure we're going to get this done in a week so just you know just kind of prepare yourself that we may be back Monday and Tuesday next week just buttoning things up but they've assured me now they're you know breaking the back of things that everything should go a lot quicker and a lot smoother over the next few days.